Hi there, this is going to be a general monthly reading for the sign of Pisces. Um, I'm doing them in groups as you guys have probably noticed and so we are going to do Pisces next. Alright Pisces, this is going to be for October 2019. Also, I apologize if you hear a noise. I finally got my AC installed and it's right there. So, and it's a huge unit. So, hopefully you don't hear it and I guess eventually we will get immune to the sound of it, right? All right, guys, so, very first card for you guys is playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is being lighthearted. Being, to be playful is to not take things too seriously. And also sometimes when we're trying too hard or we're looking too hard for love, it, it, it's like when you try and chase a butterfly. The saying is if you chase the butterfly, it eludes you. If you sit quietly, the butterfly comes and sits on your shoulder. You also have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. All right. So we are going to use the angel tarot deck that I was guided to purchase recently. And let's just see what we got going on for Pisces. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There it is. If you stop chasing the butterfly, it comes and lands on your shoulder. The Ace of Cups. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. Everything you want will come at the right time. Right? That's the way it works. That's, that's the universe. That's the laws of the universe. This is my cup runneth over. There it is. You also have the Knight of Pentacles, which is trust. Trust that it's going to come. You don't have to chase it. What's yours is yours. Knight of Pentacles can also be where it's just not, it's taking so long. So that's why you feel the need to have to chase it. Four of Cups is indifference. When we chase, we end up having this, it's like you end up having this energy of anxiousness, right? And what ends up happening is the vibration that you vibrate at is what we, we tend to attract more of, right? So you're going to attract things that are indifferent to you because you're not vibrating at a place of calm and trust, right? You have the um, Knight of Pentacles, which is all about trusting, trusting that if it's taking a while to come, it's on purpose. The indifference is, okay, I'm meeting all these people, but then shit doesn't happen. And I meet people and like they're not into me like I'm into them. Or this job didn't work out. And how come things just always don't work out? What if you just try to relax and allow things to manifest and come to you, right? You also have the page of pentacles, which is luck. A little bit of luck in the air. A little bit of serendipity. This is why this is going to be my new bracelet. You also have the queen of pentacles, which is comfort. I'm telling you, if you don't chase it and you just live your best life, be lighthearted, go with the flow, right? We're rooted, but we flow. This comes to you. You start to notice that the more you align and you surrender and you stop chasing things that are not meant for you and you allow things that are meant for you to come, you will land <sighs> things like the Ace of Cups. I mean, it was your first card. Some of you may be going on vacation here too with the retreat card. Some of you need to go and have some fun and go on a trip. You know, maybe it's like you've been going through this whole process of like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Four of Wands, freedom. Oops. And then the Empress, which is Angel of Abundance. There it is. It comes. The Four of Wands, freedom, 1111, new beginnings. Okay. This is gorgeous, right? Because this four of wands energy is about stability, but it's also about no longer having this, have, wanting to have control. I am free because I release and I trust. For us to trust, it's to be able to breathe a sigh of relief, to go, okay, it may not be working out the way I had planned. It may not be in the time frame, but I trust that when I get in the right vibration and, and, and when I stop chasing, it comes to me. The Empress, the Angel of Abundance, I mean, it's just all coming. This can also be creation to right? Birth of a new cycle, but it can also be a child. Well, Four of Wands, some of you could be moving and, and finally having a place that you call home. I don't know what else to say, except this is gorgeous energy. This is the, <sighs> the 
this is the angel of everything. And the empress is about multiplication. It's abundant, right? Abundant means a lot of something. So this is, if I put good juju out there, I get good juju back multiplied. This is multipl multiplication of something. This is just abundant. Abundance in love. Abundance in luck. Abundance in stability. As a water sign, you guys feel a lot, right? And you guys go based on emotions. That's what water signs do. You guys feel things. Master Jesus, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. This is spectacular energy for you guys, Pisces. It really, truly is. I'm excited to do your second spread. If you feel drawn to purchase that reading, click on the link below. Okay, and if you don't feel drawn, then don't do it. I feel like I need one more, and then we're going to end this and go on to the extended. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or, or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You've basically had it twice with the Four of Cups indifference. You've been encountering possibly a lot of people, places, or things, and it's just not mutual. It's as if you're trying to go and it's a dead end. It's a brick wall. And it's because sometimes you just got to do your own thing and vibrate really high and, and, and laugh and smile and play and work really hard and whatever you're doing and forget about what it is that you really want. Because what you want, what you seek is also seeking you. I want to say that's roomy. What I seek also seeks me period. All right, guys, I'll see you in the extended. Love you.